Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of rounding numbers to different place values. This is standard 4.2D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 21 off the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, Azuid, 82,649 visitors last year, and then what is 82,649 rounded to the nearest 10,000? All right, so let's open up our graph draw feature, expand it out here, and we are going to increase the transparency so we can see what's going on behind. So let's use the draw feature. We need to make sure we're hitting our correct place values. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write this 82,649, but let's get our place values in here. So there is no decimal, so we don't have to worry about the tenths or the hundredths. All right, so we're starting. That's the ones. That's the tens. We've got our hundreds. And then that's all in that first period of that first family, ones, tens, hundreds. And then we're going to just repeat it, right? It's going to be the one, but now it's a different family. It's the thousands family, or the thousands period. One thousand. 10,000, 100,000, then we continue that pattern, 1, 10, 100 again, all right? So our 10,000s is right here with this 8. We need to round it to the nearest 10,000. Now, there are some little tricks that we could use, but let's make sure we understand what exactly is happening here. This 82,649 is sitting between two boundary numbers. So let me use this connect line feature here. All right, and our two boundary numbers, since we're going to the 10,000th place, right, is going to be the, the nearest whole 10,000 below and above this number. So let's just take this 8, and we'll make everything else 0, right? So we're going to say 80,000, right? So that's below our number of 82,649. Now what's the next 10,000? Well, 80,000 and 10,000 is going to be 90,000. And we're dealing with 10,000s because that's what they're asking us to do here. So 82,649 lies somewhere in between these two. What's halfway in between 80 and 90? Well, we'll call that 85. And so let's make this red as well. So we're going to say this 85,000 is kind of our midpoint. And let's make sure we get our drawback on. There we go. 85,000. So any number that is right here at 85,000 or above is closer to 90,000. So it rounds up. Anything that is just below 85,000 or below, so 84,900. 99 and below is going to go down to 80,000. We just want to know how close it is. So if we wanted to, right, we can kind of put some in-between numbers, right? So maybe this is 81,000. Maybe this is 82,000. Maybe this is 83,000. And maybe that's 84,000. We could just kind of do that same thing, right? 86,000. 87,000, 88,000, and that's 89. We have to pretend these are evenly spaced. So look at this, 82,000. So 82,000 is going to come right in between here, my 82 and my 83. 649, that's a little bit more than halfway, so maybe right there. So. I'm going to guess that my 82,649 is right around there. Now, which side does it land on? Well, it's less than 85,000. So if it's less than 85,000, that means it's closer to 80 than 90. That's all that rounding does. So we're going to choose our answer of A.